Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. So I know I've been coming back to back to back to back to back with these videos, but but there has been a lot of questions, so I'm just trying to answer them, y'all. So if you're interested in seeing the pros and cons of a clinical laboratory assistant, aka lab processing, then stay tuned. Savage bitch, savage. In your trap and take over. Over. Name another bitch that's called. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. Oh, and that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold it. And that bitch, and I thought that they to told it. Okay, you guys. So, my name is Denaya. I work at a hospital. I am a clinical laboratory assistant, aka a lab processor, which means I receive specimens. I order specimens, I move specimens from a cup to a tube or from a tube to a tube and things like that. I put specimens in the refrigerator, buckets, through the machine, everything. So there is a lot of pros but then there are some cons depending on the person. My cons may not be your cons. My pros may not be your pros but with that being said we're just gonna go ahead and get into the video okay so we're gonna start off with the cons the cons of this job i thought i was just gonna be receiving and ordering tests y'all you're playing with pee poop spits fingers hands arms every day I'm not saying you'll get a finger or arm and a leg and a toe and stuff every day. That's probably like every blue moon. But pee, poop, spit, cultures, swabs, vaginal swabs, throat swabs, COVID swabs. You're dealing with them every day. And the only reason why I say it's a con is because you're smelling pee every single day. Some pee smells like pee. Some pee don't have a smell, some pee smells like shit, and some pee smells like the person has something. Like it smells like infection, like it's something in that piss for it to smell like that. Like, there's a whole lot of smells, there's shit smells, pissy smells, blood, plasma smells. You can smell when somebody has something, but you just don't know what is it that they have. But the cons is playing with pee all day and poop and stuff another con would be the smell the lab stain and ain't no good stain like like you know how people say weed stink and they think they saying that that's a good thing that it stink this ain't no good thing that it stink it stink like it's disgusting like like that depends on if you can stomach some stuff some days I might be like Oh shit, wait a minute. Shit stink. Some days I might be like, I just did this yesterday, it don't even matter. It depends on how you feel that day. It depends on the person, if they can stomach certain things. But I would say that's the cons of dealing with pee and poop and stuff every day. Another con is being fussed out. If I were going to shift. So I'm barely making phone calls, but day shift is where, and mid shift is where you make most of the phone calls to doctors and nurses and stuff. So you're getting cussed out and stuff. And the only reason why I say that is because, okay, some people, people don't know what they're talking about. Some people don't know how to order stuff, the nurses, order doctors. Some people don't know how to label stuff. Some people don't know how to put stuff in the correct tubes. Some people don't know how to close stuff. Um, there'll be there's there'll be a red top blood tube label on pee. There'll be a pee label on blood tubes. Like sometimes the nurses or doctors don't know how to label the stuff. Or they will label it correctly and they don't know how to tighten it up. Like how do you waste plasma how do you waste blood out of the tube what are you doing are you playing with it because why was there a reason that it was open when it's been sent from the floor to the lab straight from the floor to the lab why is it spilled in the back and then they get mad when you call them be like oh you need to collect another tube or oh you need to do this 
oh, you need to do that. Then they, they get an attitude. They want to cuss you out. They want to say, well, I've been here 20-something years, Missy, and I know what I'm doing, and I've been here longer than you, and I never heard of you before. What's your name again? Mm-mm. That -mm. all that because you label it wrong for one. Halfway open for two. And then you didn't even put the sticker right up there for three. Like, you put the wrong label on the tube and still placed it wrong. Like, there's a certain way you're supposed to place the label on the tubes or it's not going to go through the machine. So, we get fussed out a lot because it's just like, well, I've been doing this for so, so years and I never heard that. Da, da, da. No, you've heard it. You just chose not to listen and you're going to act like you didn't hear it today because I'm new and you know I'm new. So, you're going to get me BS. That's, that's what's going on. That's, that's how that works. So we get fussed out from nurses and doctors. Everybody blames everything on the lab. Like, say a nurse say, hey, Denaya, can you add this test with that tube that I sent to you earlier? No, I'm sorry. That test can't be added with those tests. It would need a whole different tube. Some tests are like that. Some tests you can't combine and put together. Some tests you can they take it upon themselves to get frustrated because they have to take time out of their day to draw another tube of blood. Oh, well, I don't see why y'all can't add it. Da, da, da. It's supposed to be the lab and y'all supposed to be processors, right? Da, 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 da. I just let them, because I need this job, because this job, I'm keeping. So I just let them, mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I understand your frustration. Mm -hmm. And then they get even more madder. They be like, you know what? I'm going to just collect the blood. Da, 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 da. And they hang up the phone. They like to fuss. They like to cuss. They like to blame the lab. Even when it's not even our fault. Even if they labeled something wrong. And we tell them, okay, we had to cancel it because you put it on the wrong tube. They get mad. And they be like, well, why can't you, why can't you just print out the label it's supposed to be on? Because first of all, that's not the test that you ordered. And if we do put the correct label on the tube. It has some of the tubes have additives in them, so we can't use the tube for that test because it has an additive in it. Do you not understand? Did, did you did you go to school? Did you finish, or did you just pass through? Did you just walk on the stage? Like, hey, they're, they're graduating. Let me walk with them. Like what? Like what really happened? So it's just a whole bunch of that. So I would say the cons is just the cons aren't that bad because there's a whole bunch of good. Trust me, that's why I saved it for last. But they love to cuss, they love to blame us, they like to say we're not doing our job when we really we are. Because if we let you continuously label tubes wrong, and we just switching labels and doing this, then everything's going to be messed up. The results are not going to be real because the tube that you put the labels on, it doesn't have the right additives and stuff like that. It's just... We're doing our job, and we are no, we know we're doing our job, so that's why we're just going to let you get your little temperature change about, because you're doing your little 12-hour shift, and I only got to do eight hours, so we're going to let you do that, mm-hmm, breathe, and it is what it is. Um, so everybody blames stuff on the lab, the lab does this, the lab does that, the lab does that. I'm not going to say you're used to it, but I've always worked in the lab, like the lab part, Tyson Center is like the lab part, um... Dialysis is like the lab. The other hospital I was working in the lab. Everybody's blaming stuff on the lab. So it's just like, what can you do but listen to them and let them talk and run their mouth? And like, because at the end of the day, we're still on the phone. Like, are we going to fix the problem and get your patient better? Or are you going to continue to whine about having to draw another tube of blood? That's how I see it. But I would say that's pretty much, oh, and it's cold. It's cold as fuck in the lab. It's cold as hell. I wear exactly this. This is our color. And I wear this. And then we have to wear our lab coats. So. I wear that because it's cold in there y'all. Another con I would say is. You're exposed to a lot of. Hazardous materials. Like C. diff. MRSA. COVID. Um, HIV. STDs, hepatitis, because you're preparing specimens for analysis or testing. You're handling a lot of medical waste and equipment to where if you're not wearing your proper PPE, you can get hepatitis, HIV, STDs, or whatever if you're not wearing the proper face um, clothing, like the lab coats, shoes, stuff like that. Um, 
keeping your gloves on, washing your hands, you can get these stuff without intentionally trying to get it or by not following the PPE rules of the lab. So if you're scared of dealing with poop and pee from a person you don't know if they have an STD or HIV or hepatitis or anything like that, then this is probably not the job for you. But that is one of the cons because you can catch things without knowing if you don't wear your proper stuff. That's why our managers and supervisors really enforce mask, shield, lab coat, proper shoes, like you would get written up in a heartbeat. So that is one of the cons. That is a major con. Um, if especially if you're scared of things like that um i'm gonna say it's all around us but in the lab it's more than usual like it's more than just walking out into the store or walking out on the street and you know if somebody has mercy and they bump against you or whatever da, 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 it's different because everything is in the lab and you know these people are sick and you know something's wrong you know they're testing for certain things so it's just like it's all there so the cons would be the smells, dealing with poop and pee every day, getting fussed out by the doctors and nurses. I would say that's all of the cons. Oh yeah, and getting specimens that spill, like pee that's halfway open. When you're receiving or ordering a certain urine test and it spills all over your desk because the nurse decided not to close it all the way. So you have piss everywhere or shit everywhere because they act like they can't close the 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 shit cups either so while you're you have the you you as a processor has to clean it up so if you see that poop is spilling out or pee spilling out you have to change the bag and stuff and clean it up and wipe it up and stuff like that like get it even if it's you're not ordering it or receiving it or you're just looking at it to move it on to another department you have to clean it and give it a new bag so yeah that is wonderful having nurses not know how to close bottles and stuff that's that's good so that's about it for the cons now we're going to move on to the pros the pros will be benefits medical field period get good benefits um two will be depending on what you're going to school for it will really help your career especially like the medical field because you're seeing all these tests and what type of tubes they go in what these tests are testing for and stuff like that like different types of tubes different types of additives different types of swabs and cultures and stool tests um blood tests um COVID test and like the acronyms for the tests and stuff like that so you learn a little bit more with being in the cl clinical assisting the, like the lab lab like the back of the lab because you're knowing which tube which test is supposed to be in which tube so you're knowing your tubes then you're knowing how it's supposed to be carried frozen room temperature um it's supposed to be spun stuff like that and then you're also learning how to work the machine to process the or put the tubes in a certain file like they're supposed to be in a certain they're supposed to be set up a certain way so you're learning a lot of medical terminology a lot of medical stuff i mean of course you're in the medical field but like when doctors order tests you're like oh so that's what this 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 does and that's what the results of this is and that's that's the test of this or you're like, what does this test mean? Or what does this mean? And the doctor be like, well, that means this, this, and this. You're getting a lot of feedback onto what it is you're testing for, why you're testing for it, and stuff like that. If the doctor or nurse is nice enough to explain it for you, if you're really interested. But if you're working in the medical field and you're also going to school for the medical field, it helps you like grasp the concept of certain things. Um, like say you're in clinicals or say you're in a certain like class it just helps knowing certain things especially when you know you're going to be in a medical field so that's why I also I want to stay in a medical field job while I was in school so I can pick up a certain amount of things if that makes sense like you learn a whole bunch of stuff especially as like a phlebotomist and stuff you see a lot of stuff you see 
ER patients, you see how patients react with like liver failure and stuff like that. You see a lot of stuff which helps you in the medical field. So that is the big one of the biggest pros for me is sitting there receiving the stuff and like, oh, okay, this is what this test is and this is how they order this and this is how it's supposed to be stored and this is how it's supposed to be processed and this is what we're supposed to do with it and send it here and da da da. Like I like knowing all that stuff. So when I'm a nurse, it's like, okay, I need this, 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 and this, this, this. And I can do it all myself because I can stick, I can order, I can receive. I already know how to order and receive because that's what you do when you're a nurse. You order it, but you don't really necessarily receive it because that's what the lab is for. But you're ordering stuff and when the doctors approve of stuff, you're like, okay, so he ordered this. So I know it's supposed to be in this tube, this tube, this tube. I can draw up all my stuff, label it correctly, and send it up or take it up myself. So that's why I feel like working in a medical field will make me a better nurse because I'm seeing how things are done and how it's supposed to be done as to where how nurses are doing it that's not right or how their attitudes are and stuff like that I know what not to do and what I'm supposed to do so that's one of the biggest pros in working in the, as a clinical lab, laboratory assistant in the lab you see a lot of things that you don't really think of when you're a nurse you just know oh I'm doing my nurse stuff I'm doing the floor stuff but you don't really think of oh what happens if I don't tighten this pee up or I'm gonna just label this like this because I got so much to do I'm just that little stuff matters because that could be your patient that's in critical condition condition and you didn't label it correctly so we can't accept the test you didn't use the right tubes so now the patient has to wait even longer and the patient could die whatever the case may be god forbid your patient will do that but that's why we do things a certain way so that's what i like about that so we've got good benefits um i can learn from it from school um clinical laboratory assistant is not a really a hectic job the only hectic thing i would say is getting phone calls from nurses on why we canceled this or why we can't do that and why we can't combine the test and why couldn't you just put it on the right tube or put it in like they one nurse even said why can't you just take it from one tube and put it in another what what like y'all that's the only hectic thing this is a really chill dog job this is a really chill job. You're literally sitting here receiving, ordering, moving stuff from tube to tube or cup to tube or whatever. And you'll get up every now and then to put it in the place it's supposed to be at, like the refrigerator, room temperature bin or whatever. But it's just like you're really chilling for real. So that's a one of the pros, especially if you're in school, you're not doing too much. You're not running around, sweating, stressing, and you're like tired. So when you come home, you just crash on the, on the, on the floor, on the bed, on the couch, whatever. It's a really chill job. So you don't use so much of your energy at work so you can put it into your schoolwork. So that is basically it. Like honestly, the pros be the benefits. Um, learning different stuff while you're in school it's a really chill job um, you get to talk to or be in touch with a lot of people in the medical field so you get to like put yourself in your own path like say you're taking pre, pre classes for whatever you want to do so you come in touch with a doctor you come in touch with a nurse you come in touch with a medical technologist you come in touch with so many different people uh, uh, care partner stuff a, a surgical assistant you could be like, oh, I thought I wanted to do this, but I want to do that. Like, you come in touch with so many different people. You can be like, oh, so what do you do? And da 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 da. And they'd be like, oh, I went to school for this, 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 I do this. Like, you talking to other people about what they do and looking at different positions, you can put yourself on the path of, okay, I might want to do this instead of this. Or, hey, I might want to do this instead of that. Like, you come in touch with so many people. You're like, dang, this is so fascinating. Like, I don't even know what I want to do. That's how I was. I would just look around at everybody like, dang, I want to do that. Dang, I want to do that. But I want to do that too. But I want to do that too. So it's just like, I'm thankful that I came around all these people so I can choose like what I really wanted to do. And I'm, I think I'm going to stick with nursing because nursing, I mean, you don't have to be in the hospital if you don't want to. But... Um, you're around a lot of stuff. You get uh, a lot of knowledge on um, certain things. So it's like even if you don't want to stay in the clinical lab, you can always move up. Some not everything needs a certification as long as you stay with that company and you move up within that company and you rack up your years and months and stuff like that. You can move up. You can always make more money like that. Some people didn't know, but 
you can move up within the company and make more money. We receive a lot of good benefits, medical, dental, vision, vacation, um, PTO, sick leave, and retirement plans. We do receive uniforms and stuff like that, working as a clinical laboratory assistant. So yeah, the benefits are wonderful. I'm loving it. And another good thing about laboratory assistants or lab processors, you will always have a job. Like there is not gonna ever be a reason for somebody not to get their blood drawn or somebody not to get this test done or do this and that because People get sick every day. So there's always going to be a need for laboratory assistance. There's always going to be a need for phlebotomists, nurses, laboratory techs, stuff like that. So you will always have a job. Even if you leave one company, you can always go to another one. There's always a job in the field because people, like I said, are getting sick every day. Especially with the COVID going around, a lot of people left their job. But they're hiring. They're even raising the pay. Like, I just started and I already got a raise. Like, so it's just like is really a high demand in the job along with phlebotomists and nurses and medical technicians and respiratory so it's just like you always have a job that's a good pro and the benefits that's with any medical job period so that's basically it for the pros and cons smell dealing with poop and pee getting fussed at by doctors and nurses and getting specimens that spilled everywhere because they don't know how to close a bottle that's the main thing i will probably do a more updated pros and cons video when i get more into it but i'm just doing the receiving and ordering part but i will end up doing tubing and stats and covets and stuff like that but yeah that's basically it and the pros will be the benefits most definitely the pay i love my pay um being around different people in different fields um so you can kind of get a just up what you want to do learning different things while you're in medical school for anything medical nursing um medical assistant opn whatever surgical assistant whatever so it's just like dang there's a lot of stuff out here that you want to do and you get to like narrow it down to what you really want to do so that's all i can say about this job um and i feel like all the pros outdo the cons because it's like hey all i'm doing is moving stuff from two to two i'll get busted by by nurses or whatever every now and then but it's just like people don't fuss it is what it is as long as you, they're not fussing with you face to face they're fussing with you over the phone so it's just like Put yourself on mute let them run their mouth and you can have a whole nother conversation it is what it is let them run their mouth let them talk they shit they big they big shit and it is what it is let them get their frustrations out i usually put them on mute i'm listening to them but i'm carrying on my conversation or i'm continuing with my ordering or receiving because it, it doesn't help the patient when you're fussing back and forth so that's all I can say about that, the pros and cons. So I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be posting once a week, if not more than once a week. So we're coming back to back to back to back to back with these you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Hold on my age. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content just like I'm enjoying putting them out and editing and recording for you. Um, Y'all stay safe, stay cautious, keep your mask on, keep your hands washed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.